Hello guys, welcome to this new filmmaking video where we are going to make a music video. So, Panasonic announced a film competition earlier this year where the criteria was to use the EVA 1 Cinema camera. And since we have that camera, and I've been wanting to make a music video for a song called Ocean by Giant, I thought that was a good reason to join. I came across the artist a year ago when he commented on a video we made. I checked his songs and I really liked them. Hello! Hello uh, all of the subscribers of Anders. I'm one of you. I'm a subscriber, have been subscribed for 10 years. Yeah, it's crazy how this has kind of all happened. He wanted to use my song and make a music video and I was like, absolutely yes. And that was that and I just didn't really think too much more of it. I just kind of thought it wouldn't happen. Anyway, about a week ago, I was sitting in a coffee shop and I get a, a the dr rough draft. Man, the hair in the back of my neck went up and I got the tingles and I was like, yeah, I had my own vision for it. And when I saw it, it was just like, it was so different. I encourage all of the people watching this to, um, to do the same thing and to reach out to the people um, that you respect and that in empower you and inspire you. And you never know, they might write back and something like incredible like this could happen. We only had one day to shoot. So we made a rough script found the location and went out shooting. And this is how it went. If you want to see the music video first, press the card appearing now or press the link in the description because there are some spoilers in this video. Okay, since we're going to have a walk today and we are only five people, I packed as little as possible, but still the most important equipment, I believe. We have the Easy Rig for the EVA 1. We're going to shoot a lot of handle today, so that's why I have the Easy Rig. The behind the scenes, the GH4 camera. Reflector, an extension cord, a C stand for the 300D, the new MX uh, aperture lamp, a small one, the Amran lamp, we have another uh, stand, reflector holder, a little light stand for uh, small lamps, some orange gel, and we have the slider, and tripod, and of course the baby. So let's put it in the car and we're ready to go. We need to get to that island. Luckily we found this bike, so we can uh, carry all the stuff. Maybe you can start a new job, walk around Oslo with your, this uh, 300D on your back. Does anyone need a rental lamp? Rental lamp, half price! <laughs> I modified the bag, I attached two uh, straps, so it kind of works like as a backpack. We've been walking for uh, about seven minutes, so it's ten more. Feels like two hours. And 15 minutes, man. Looking <laughs> <laughs> forward to see the place. Nikolai says it's beautiful. So beautiful. We arrived at our main location. As I hadn't been here before, we had to figure out exactly where and when to shoot each scene, based on the rough script we had made earlier. <laughs> Using a phone to film yourself isn't always easy. <laughs> Okay, so Thomas, <laughs> they're supposed to be from the 80s. Thomas yeah. has this grease look. <laughs> and Ingelil has uh, more, I don't know. Yeah, it looks good. Can you see your hat, Ingelil? There you go. Now we're back to the 80s. Yes. Or uh, 60s or 70s. Are you ready? Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was time to shoot the first scenes. 
Okay, I'm using two screws. Then it, it won't twist because it's two. Okay, we're going to use two monitors. The one that comes with the uh, EVA. It's not that good in, uh, in uh, daylight. It's a lot of reflection. So I will also use the aperture uh, LCD screen with the sun hood. Also with the big screen, it's uh, much easier to see the focus. Always bring a reflector, no matter what. We're quite lucky now because it's getting cloudy. So, God will give us diffusion. Thank you. We needed to be efficient and improvise a bit, since toddlers don't tend to have much patience. <laughs> okay, that toddler doesn't look too comfortable. Um, let's just keep the toddler in the stroller, uh, Thomas. Um, We'll take it from there. <laughs> I used the easy rig to both distribute the weight of the camera to make it lighter and stabilize the shots a tiny bit. With the reflector, we could lift the shadows in their faces. I chose to shoot everything in 4K, 50 FPS, and Vlog. Great dynamic range and a new Super 35mm sensor combined with a Sigma 18-35mm lens made the images turn out very sharp and natural. So I have directed animals, but not toddlers. <laughs> expect to use some time and expect to look silly. Here we use the reflector to give her a little bit of wind, as if coming from the sea. Okay, so for this shot, I'm going to walk out in the ocean and have a wide angle into land and let's see her parents waving. So I have to walk out, pretend I'm the point of view of the main character. Let's see how it goes. We finished up the shots at the beach and turned back to our main location, where I prepared the eye footage shark slider. If you're just going to do a short slide, it's yeah. enough with just one tripod. Since we didn't have uh, room for too much equipment today, I think it's enough to just have a short slider and one, one tripod. No doubt, filmmaking does something to people. I got this new hatch. No. <laughs> Actually fits two Something people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to film the first scenes with Nicolina. I'm going to shoot that handheld and then when she sees the house. I want a change in cinematography, so then we go to the slider to kind of reveal the house. That's the plan. It is important to balance the easy rig and it's not 100% perfect, so it will be challenging to walk with it, but we'll, let's try. I think it's okay. And by shooting in slow motion, it makes the shots look smoother. Yeah, I took top, yeah. <laughs> I recorded. <laughs> well, that can happen to all of us. <laughs> in my eyes, a slider is perfect to use to reveal things in films. Thank 
Tak. Nice Tomasz. Flink jest. Change the lens. Now let's do some close-ups. Showing props and link them to something that's happening later in the story is a good way to connect parts of the story and make the audience feel smart. It's also more interesting for us as an audience to think ourselves rather than being told too much through dialogue. In this shot I used my Samyang 14mm f2.8 lens. I thought we could make the shot even more interesting by adding a light and create more contrast. So we placed the aperture 300D outside the door, pointing it a bit down to the floor and towards her. As you see it doesn't make a huge difference, but enough to enhance the shot and the story. The feeling of her changing something in her life. We have established that she's uh, looking around in the house with some wide angles, so now we can go to the close-ups of, of things she finds. And that we can do quite close-up without introducing the room, because she, we know she's walking around and looking at things. So we're going to have the, the stone and some children clothes to give like a flashback to when she was young. And all the dead children that she ate in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this corner isn't that pretty for this uh, scene, but we're just going to have a close-up and that's why we can shoot it here. Very dramatic now. The scene is gonna be very dramatic. I'm actually gonna cry. Don't know how that's gonna go. You don't want to shake the camera when you got emotional close-ups. Stable, solid tripod, and uh, be gentle with the movements. Make sure that the head is in balance. Uh, it's too heavy in front, as you can see. When I release it, it uh, falls down in front. So then adjust the camera until it's balanced. And what's good about this Manfrotto uh, head is that you can tighten it up so you get more resistance. Because if you, if you have less resistance, it's really easy to shake it. So add some resistance and yeah, get smooth shots. Here, the door gave us soft, natural light. This is the raw vlog footage. And this is with the Rec. 709 LUT. Waffles! <laughs> There's always time for a waffle. Okay, so it was time to shoot the last scenes. I wanted to express freedom. By stripping down the camera and make her improvise, we could shoot both quickly and get more instant and natural shots. And I also believe that it's possible to feel how things are shot. I felt more free when filming this, just as what we wanted to tell in these scenes.
Okay, I understand if this seems a bit strange for some, but I kind of felt that that someone has been watching us and helping us. I'm talking about our good friend Eskil. Ever since he passed away, I felt that he's still here to help us out, as he always did. Just before Eskil passed away, we started a production company together with some friends. It's not easy to just start a production company, but we had times when I felt that he showed us hope. Like when we did our first big film project, and it was predicted rain the whole day. However, the moment we came to the location and rigged the camera, the sun appeared from nowhere. Truly saved our shots. I, I actually believe that someone from above helps us out. You know who I mean? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, Nicolina, uh, swim, 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 swim. <laughs> so we have to do it as well. That's the deal. Ready? Oh, let's do a 96 FPS. Thanks for watching. Please let us know if these kind of videos are interesting by pressing the like button. To see how the music video turned out, you can press the window appearing now. To become a patron and support the channel, press the other window. And thanks to Giant for letting us use his song Ocean. Check out his YouTube channel by pressing here. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Hadra!